legendary Audio Technica AT95E phono cartridge has been replaced by the updated VM95E dual moving magnet cartridge. Offering an improved and distinctive design, the VM95E incorporates a more rigid housing with lower resonance. Its special coil design delivers a powerful output with excellent channel separation and low distortion. Threaded inserts in the cartridge body allow it to mount to the head shell with just two screws, eliminating the mounting nuts. Featuring an elliptical diamond stylus, the VM95E's performance can be upgraded by simply swapping out the stylus assembly. Several options are available, including high-performance Shibata and Microline versions, along with a special stylus assembly for playing shellac 78s. As the record plays, the stylus assembly tracks the hills and valleys of the record groove, creating vibrations analogous to the groove. Even with a hard diamond stylus, friction is created as the stylus tracks the groove. After a period of play, the stylus becomes worn and should be replaced. Depending on the stylus type and tracking force, this varies from 300 to 1,000 hours of record play. Secure the tone arm to its rest with the locking clamp. If you have the stylus protector from the old stylus, slide it over the stylus assembly. Carefully remove the head shell from the tone arm by loosening the head shell locking ring. While holding the head shell, grasp the side of the stylus protector. Slowly pull the stylus assembly up and off the cartridge body using a slight rocking motion. Remove the new stylus from its packaging and make certain the stylus assembly is fully seated in the protector. Carefully grasp the sides of the new stylus assembly by its protector. While holding the head shell, align the tab on the underside of the stylus with the rectangular opening in the cartridge body. Carefully press the stylus into the cartridge body. It will seat firmly with a slight click. Without removing the stylus protective cover, reinstall the head shell with cartridge assembly onto the tone arm. Tighten the head shell locking ring by turning it counterclockwise. As the ring rotates, it pulls the head shell into its seated position. Tighten carefully. Remove the stylus protective cover and release the tone arm locking clamp. Provided the counterweight did not move during this process, you should not have to rebalance the tone arm or reset the tracking force. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.